Hi guys, Kevlar here. I want to take a look at the golf course in Sons of the Forest. I want to see if it's really playable. What I mean by playable is can you go from hole to hole, starting off at hole 1, getting all the way to hole 18, completing the 18 hole course, you know, by following the correct pathways. So first of all I need to start off mapping out each hole to find out where is the tee off point and where is the green. A lot of them it's fairly easy, they've all got these worn out areas here which is clearly the tee off points and quite a few of them have got actual flags on the green let's go and find one that's got a flag here you go there's a flag so some of them I'd say not all of them some of them have got that but that just helped identify what side was the green and what side was the tee off point but they've all got this worn out area for the tee off point then also they all seem to have these rocks at the start and finish First of all we kind of thought that the different types of rocks, so these I'd say are big rocks and if I go over to the other side that also has big rocks, some of them have got flatter rocks, there you go, so these ones are flatter, so we thought that actually the flat rocks and the big rocks meant something, so maybe the flat rocks was the exit, so once you got to the green, and the big rocks was the entrance to tee off, but that didn't seem to be the case so we scrapped that idea. Right, so what you can see here is I have now mapped out each hole. So on my map here, I've got the blue as my tee off box and the green as the green. So each hole has been identified what way is the entry point, what way is the exit point. Then next we have to look at all of the pathways to work out how you get from each hole. So as you can see here, I've got all these yellow lines for all of the pathways on the golf course. We've got a few pathways leading off of the golf course. I haven't followed them all the way. For example, this one keeps on going. And then, yeah, a lot of the pathways inside the course linking each hole. So yeah, as you can see, all these pathways, they've worn out bits of ground, quite easy to follow. They usually start and finish with some rocks. Yeah, quite easy to follow. So here's one of the pathways leading off of the course. So this is the one that goes off, it just disappears away from the course. Right, so then based on these pathways, I kind of could work out the direction of travel. So if we have a look at the map, I've got little arrows on the pathways that I think we need to use. Some of them are more straightforward than others, so if you look at this hole here, we can see there's only one pathway going from the green, and it takes you to the tee off on the next hole. So that was an easy one to pick. Then you'll see some of the others, there's sort of crisscross pathways, so we had to try and work out what was the best route to take to make sure that we actually complete each hole? So if you took the wrong direction, you'd end up going down a different route and then you'd miss off some holes. Over here is quite a clear example of that because these three holes here loop together. So if you took a wrong direction, there's no way of getting back to these holes. Right, so after mapping that all out and working out which direction you should follow, we need to find out which is hole number one. But usually in real life on a golf course you'd have the start of hole number one and the end of hole number 18 in the same place so that you know you start off hole number one you go play golf you end up back in the same place where the clubhouse is and you can go off and have a pint before you head off home so trying to look at the map we had to try and work out right where could that be and it really wasn't very obvious there's no holes that kind of work like that so it doesn't seem like that logic's been used and there's no real clear entry to the golf course there's no sort of you know road leading up to it say right this is where you start so we've got this hole over here and there's no pathway to the start of this hole leading from the end of another hole so it has to be a starting point otherwise if we don't start there there's no way of getting to it once you finish another hole there's no other hole like that every other hole has a point leading to it apart from a couple which we'll get to so I'm positive this is a starting point and there is a path going all the way down to the beach so I feel maybe the idea is you come in on the boat and then that's how you get to start playing golf okay so this is our hole number one let's follow it through right so we're at hole number one and unusually again this doesn't have any of those rocks as like the starting or finishing point linking holes there's a pathway over here here it is so this is the pathway if you follow this all the way down this takes you down to the beach as I mentioned before right so let's follow this hole so you go all the way down here then you get to this point here this will be the green then we've got our exit point here so this exit point is quite clear taking us to these rocks here there is 
Uh, where is it? There's a bit of a pathway. You can go off, here it is, then you go down to the beach, but that just takes you to the beach. Right, so here we are. So this is our hole number two. Okay, following hole number two, all the way down to the end, there's two pathways. See, we've got one there and one there. And this is where I said about initially thinking like the different types of rocks meant something. These are big rocks, these are flat rocks. Looking at the map, I identified that the exit point is to go down. Because if we don't go down to this one, this is the only path leading to this hole. So if we go right, we're never going to get back to this hole, missing it out completely. So this, hole number three. Okay, so we take this pathway to hole number three. Okay, we go up hole number three. Only one exit is this pathway here. Taking us to the start of hole number four. Okay, following hole number four, down to the end. Only one exit, which is here. However, if we follow this pathway, there's another pathway down there going down to the beach, but that's all, that's all it does. And we have a crisscross here. As you can see, there's a few different ways we can go. As I mentioned near the start, these ones going a loop. And if we miss them out, we can't get back to them. So we know that we're not going to turn right yet. We're going to go left. And this one will be our hole number five. Okay, so we're taking this left. We're going to go up hole number five. Only one pathway. Round here, then we have to go down, all the way down this pathway to get to the tee off. Giving us hole number six here. As you can see, there's a pathway coming off of hole number six, and that does go all the way up here. Okay, go down hole number six. To the green area, and then there's one pathway coming off hole number six. Up here to hole number seven. There we go. Hole number seven. Let's go down hole number seven, up to the green. One exit. Takes us around here, back to this crisscross area. So we cross over this one, and then we come to this hole here. So that takes us to hole number eight. Okay, heading down hole number eight. Takes us to here. Got one pathway. It does split off here to go back down to one of those holes over there. Oh look, there's a cannibal there, we'll see up to. But we've already done that hole, so we come off this way. And that'll be hole number nine. Right, number nine's a nice long par five by the looks of it. All the way down to the end here. One pathway here. Only one option leading us to hole ten. There we go, this is number 10. Off down to the end of hole number 10. Only one pathway. Straight through to here, to hole number 11. Here we are, number 11. Down hole number 11. Two pathways. Now, interestingly, this is where it gets a bit silly or a bit confusing and again the rock logic doesn't come into play there's rocks there there's no rocks there does that mean we should go that way i would say no so if we look at the map if we don't go left there's no other pathway taking you to the start of this hole so if we go right we're completely missing this hole out and if we went right there's a long pathway that takes us to the green of this one or we can get up to the tee off box of that one but it doesn't help us we'll never get back to this one so this is hole number 12. okay left hand pathway hole number 12 let's go up hole number 12 get to the end here only one pathway takes us off to the right 
this pathway does split off and go that way, which is where I said we could have come from if we skipped that hole. But we're going to go up here to hole number 13. So this is hole 13. If we went the other way, it's not taking us to a tee off point. Right, just change the time of day so it's a bit brighter again. Let's go down to the end of hole number 13. Hole number 13, oh, actually has a flag. Right, where's our exit point here? There you go, some rocks there. One single path, no other route. Takes us to hole number 14. Okay, this little one up here is hole 14. As you can see, there's a pathway coming off that that goes off into the woods. Go down here. There's our pathway going off into the woods. Here's our green. Get another one with a flag. Only one route off of this one. It's up here, all the way up here, long pathway around to this hole. Hole number 15. Right, let's head down hole number 15. All the way down here. No other pathways apart from this one back here. Takes us all the way down around the corner to the start of this one, hole number 16. So, hole number 16. Pathway going off up there, goes all the way up here, up to the mountains. Right, let's get to the end of hole number 16. Damn it, we got some rain. Don't like playing golf in the rain. Anyway, so there's only one pathway now going up here. However, if you have a look at the map, this is where I think it's gone very wrong and they've screwed up. So you can see I've not drawn any arrows for these pathways. And we've got two holes left. Now this pathway leads to the green of this hole and this pathway leads, well, to pretty much the green of this one. There's no other pathways. If we go down here, I'll take you there in a minute. There's pathways linking these two, but there's no pathways going to these two starting points from any other green. So this one here, I checked quite a lot, thinking, oh, well, maybe that should go to one of these. But even if there was, you'd miss out this hole. So you have to go to that hole from here. So we're going to go up this pathway and I'll show you that's definitely a green and it's definitely a starting point. Right, so up this pathway we go. Oh, it's harder to see it in the rain, actually sort of light colouring here we go so rocks um, there's no faded area to show it's a tee off point okay these are bunkers go all the way down here and there's definitely a faded area as a tee off point so I'm confident this hole goes that way okay then if we go back down here, this pathway linking these two holes, down here, round to here. Again, I'd say this is definitely a tee-off point. Wow. What are they all doing? They obviously know I'm there. Anyway, yeah, so this to me is a tee-off point. So we go down to the end of this hole. It's a long one. No flag, but to me it's clearly the green area because it's got the bunkers as well that you don't have tee off points by bunkers they're usually around the green or midway down the fairway so yeah so we've just gone up there and gone down there so yeah that makes sense right bunkers there nearer the green bunkers there nearer the green tee off point tee off point okay that pathway here can link the two this pathway there only goes to again the end so I think they've screwed up. I think maybe this hole here should have been swapped around. So this is a tee off point. So we could go up here, tee off, hit the green here, go down the pathway, tee off here, and then that's the end. So I'd say this should be 17. That should be 18. Now again, even that doesn't make much sense because you're ending off in right in the middle of the golf course although there are some pathways here to kind of get to a way out but doesn't make sense but if you picked any hole as a starting point and followed that route which I'm pretty sure is the right route because 
following the pathways, making sure we're linking greens to tee off points. That's the route to go, but you could say like, let's say this is hole one, follow the whole route. Every time you get to this one, you get stuck as to where to go. And the fact that this one is the only one which has no paths at all linking it to another hole. I know these ones technically don't because they're not the right way around, but they do have paths linking those two holes, even though they're not at the right starting and ending point. This one has nothing, so I'm sure this has to be the starting point. Anyway, has anyone else wasted their time trying to work this out? If you have, let me know what you found out and what you think. What do you think of my theory? Do you agree that they screwed this up and they need to redesign this golf course? Or can you spot something that I haven't spotted, you know, which gives us a better path to follow? Well, I'm positive this bit is screwed up. At least swapping that one round means we can go round every single hole in order, just ending in a stupid point of the golf course. But yeah, that's it. That is the Sons of the Forest golf course. Hope you enjoyed that. Please do give us a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.